What's the difference between robots, androids, and cyborgs? If you're a fan of movies, you've probably seen these three things in one of the science fiction movies that you've watched. These include things like iRobot, Alita, Battle Angel, The Terminator, and DC Cyborg. But this begs the question, what exactly is a robot, an android, and a cyborg? This video will show you some exciting differences between robots, androids, and cyborgs. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like, and also press the bell icon to never miss an update about artificial intelligence, robotics, and future technology. That being said, let's begin. Robots, androids, and cyborgs are terms that are often confused by many people. Some people will claim that a robot is somehow similar to an android, while others say it's different. On the other hand, a cyborg is an entirely different term. However, when it comes to cyborgs, people claim that they're closely related to androids. To rid of all the doubt and answer all your questions, we'll look at them as we see what sets each apart from the other. Robots First and foremost, we'll look at robots, which are basically the easiest ones to understand. Robots are also the basis of the other two. In fact, they might be the first ones before the androids and cyborgs came along. So, with all that information, what exactly is a robot? Well, the word robot means forced labor. A robot is basically a machine that has been specifically designed to replace humans in performing those laborious and or risky tasks. Of course, you cannot compare robots when they started the development to now, where AI is even more rampant. Robots in this era are more accurate, more reliable, and even less expensive than their human counterparts. It's a human tendency to seek out faces or patterns everywhere. This has even made sci-fi and toy robots everywhere adopt the humanoid look. If not that, then it'll have some sort of pseudo-facial features. However, that's not really the case in everyday life. However, most robots are inspired by human or animal movement. One thing that distinguishes robots is that they're always controlled by a computer program. However, it's said that some modern robotics are autonomous. Given that they're prevented by a computer program, they're also limited in what they can do. Robots that are used every day do not really think for themselves. In addition, they cannot really communicate with humans unless they're sharing an error message. Contrary to belief, robots don't necessarily have to be human-like. They can simply be in the form of anything, even an animal, so they're not limited to just humanoid looks. Right now, where technology is, there have been developments in robotics where some robots can now learn and even recognize and adapt to patterns. This has mainly been made possible with machine learning. Because of this, there's now a very blurred line between what a robot is and what artificial intelligence AI software is. Take the example of Siri. The ability of Siri to communicate with you has been made possible by her AI software. Yet, just like a robot, she has some restrictions on her programming. However, we can't really say that she's a robot because she doesn't have any mechanical parts. So, long story short, robots are primarily mindless, mechanical, enslaved people. Only a minority has the programmed intelligence to see and react to patterns. Robots are headed towards reaching sentience, but there's still a lot to be done. Androids or droids Now that we know what a robot is, let's look at androids. One thing you should know is that they're somehow similar but different from robots. Okay, confused? Pay attention and all your confusion will end. What is an android? In part, an android describes the difference between an android and a robot. I'm sure once or twice you heard that android actually means anthropomorphic droid. Well, anthropomorphic actually means having human characteristics. However, that's not what android means. That's because the word droid is just made up. However, the suffix oid in droid actually means having the form of. So, saying that an android takes the form of a human is not at all wrong. However, the true meaning of android is more specific. Ander actually means man, and not just a man, but literally a male. It turns out that you cannot have any female androids, but if they existed, what would they be called? Gynoid, maybe? Whether it's an android or a gynoid, they're all the same. These machines are made with the ability to walk, talk, and even perform some complex social interactions. Basically, they look human and even behave exactly like humans. The significant difference between a robot and an android is the AI software. The AI in an android is more advanced than that of a robot. It's so superior that they tend to break free from any programming limitations, and they can even start thinking freely for themselves. So basically, a house cleaning android will still continue with its work of cleaning your house. However, it may begin to complain that you're giving it a lot of work. An android will possess many human characteristics, including but not limited to feelings, so an android is sentient, meaning that it can feel and perceive things. 
However, one primary requirement for an android is that it looks like a humanoid. Now that we know what an android is, where does this place Sophia, the AI robot that was even given citizenship? Is she a robot or an android? Feel free to comment down below. So some things are now clear about androids. They're mechanical beings being built with the form and attitude of a man. Gynoids are the female versions of androids, and droids are only found in the Star Wars universe. But what about cyborgs? Cyborgs. You may argue that an android is just really advanced and a complex robot that looks like a human. But what about a cyborg? What, what exactly is it? If you watch the Justice League, you probably know of Cyborg, one of the heroes there. But what exactly is he? Well, one thing you should know is that Cyborg is an entirely different form of an android or robot. The term Cyborg refers to a cybernetic organism. Just looking at these two words will tell you all you need to know about a Cyborg. Think, think of a Cyborg as part human and part machine. It can live, breathe, and maybe even procreate. A cyborg is made up of organic material combined with enhanced biometric components. When we say cybernetic, it simply means that the organic, which is the living part of the cyborg, and the mechanical parts can communicate. So basically, a cyborg is alive. There are two scenarios of how a cyborg could come to be. The first one is that a human can receive some cybernetic enhancements. These enhancements will allow humans to have some special abilities. The other scenario involves some nanobots infiltrating an organic organism, just like how a virus enters and takes control of the body. I don't know how likely this will happen, but I highly doubt whether we're there yet. Either way, from what we've seen in movies, cyborgs are not good news for human beings. This is mainly so because, unlike their mechanical counterparts, cyborgs don't really have any programming limitations whatsoever or even ethical limitations. This means that they can do whatever they feel like, whenever they feel like it and no one can stop them. As much as you may be thinking that cyborgs would be pretty awesome to have around, it'll take years before we can even see the first one. At the moment, scientists are working on creating artificial limbs for amputees. They aim at the artificial limbs responding and syncing the human nervous system. As much as it'll help the amputees feel whole again, it does turn them into cyborgs. So just to emphasize, a cyborg is alive. It's a live creature with some biomechanical components attached to it or in it. These biomechanical components can communicate directly with their existing organic components. Note that a cyborg isn't a robot in any way. As I wind up, a robot and an android are both machines. The significant difference is that an android is more human-like and has more sophisticated AI systems than a robot. On the other hand, a cyborg is nothing like these two since they have some sense of life. After all, it's part human and part machine. Where do you think that the Tesla's bot, which is said to have the owner's personality, lies? Feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Also, before you leave, take a moment to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on artificial intelligence, robotics, and future technology. Thanks for watching.